Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also rolling out our August 2023 optional bug fix update for Windows 11 22H2, KB5029351, which was made available uh, late yesterday in my region on the 22nd of August. Now, this month, there's quite a lot going on once again with this optional update, as it does include three new features. And first of all, just to go through the new features, um, the update adds a new hover behavior to the search box Gleam. And there's quite a lot going on with the search box in this latest um, August bug fix update. And apparently when you hover over it, uh, the search flyout box might appear. So as Microsoft says, it might appear and I'm hovering over my search box and nothing's happening. I have checked in settings. There's no setting to adjust this, so maybe this is on a controlled rollout, but nonetheless, up until this update, you had to click on the search box to open up uh, the search flyout, where now with this search box gleam, if you hover over it, uh, it might appear, so maybe that's on a controlled rollout, but nonetheless, and that is listed as a new feature and a key highlight. Then moving on to another new feature, and I'm just going to mention this. Apparently, um, the update adds new functionality that affects app defaults. Now, basically what's happening with this is Microsoft says um, they want to ensure that uh, people are in control of what gets pinned uh, to their desktop, their start menu and their taskbar, as well as to be able to control their default applications. And basically that's a bit of a dialogue and badging that's going to appear uh, just to add new functionality that, that affects app defaults. So that's the second new feature. And then the third is really mainly... Um, pointing towards and rolling out for admins, system administrators, which um, includes a new policy called Enable Optional Updates. Administrators can use it to configure the monthly optional cumulative updates for commercial devices, and you can also use this a policy for the gradual controlled feature rollouts. So basically that new policy called Enable Optional Updates is mainly for your system administrators. Now that's the new features um, that are rolling out. Not what I would consider to be front-facing, but there are two little changes I have noticed that aren't mentioned in the release notes when it comes to so-called new features. And um, the desktop, Windows Desktop Spotlight icon on the desktop. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can actually see it a bit better in the video. This Windows Spotlight for Desktop icon has received a makeover and a visual redesign. Um, everything else is still exactly the same. There's no um, extra options. It's just that the actual badging for the icon um, has been changed. So that's a little feature I've spotted. And then something else to take note of, if we head back to our settings personalization, um, there's a new backup. It says backup your pictures folder to automatically back up your background image. So this is a background image backup, which I think has been a long time coming. So you can actually back up now your background image. And if we head back to personalization, and this time we head to lock screen, the same is appearing. Back up your pictures folder to automatically back up your lock screen image. So you can back up your background image and your lock screen image by clicking on start backup and i actually think that's been a long time coming so nonetheless that's um two little changes i've also noticed over and above the official new features that microsoft has rolled out with this latest update now just to go through some of the key highlights and the fixes and um, the update supports daylight saving time changes in israel and then there are three uh, fixes and improvements that are once again rolling out for the search box an update addresses an issue that affects the search icon. Apparently, when you select it, the search app does not open. This occurs after a machine has been asleep. So that has been addressed uh, with this update. And then another search um, improvement. The update improves the reliability of the search app. So that's another, the second. And then the third, regarding the search box size. The update addresses an issue that affects the search box size. Um, it's... Its size is reduced in tablet posture mode on Microsoft Surface Pro and Surface Book devices. So as mentioned, quite a lot going on when it comes to search and the search box and the search flyout in this um, latest update, KB5029351. Now those are the key highlights and the new features. Now because this is a non-security update that includes quality improvements, if you want to stick around just to go through some of the other fixes that have rolled out. Now um, another bug fix has rolled out for system admins apparently this update addresses an issue that affects the group policy service 
Um, it will not wait for 30 seconds like it's supposed to do, uh, which is the default wait time um, for the network to, uh, to be available because of this policies are not correctly processed. So that's another system admin uh, key bug fix rolling out. And the update addresses an issue that affects a window. Apparently, um, uh, windows might not render with the wrong dimensions or at the wrong position. So that's been fixed. And there's another print uh, issue that's been addressed. Um, apparently, the issue was affecting print jobs that are sent to a virtual print queue. They fail without an error. And then there is a fix that um, addresses and that was causing and fixes high CPU usage. So that's a bit of a performance fix. So obviously, um, it says officially in the release notes, the update addresses an issue that causes high CPU usage. And uh, this occurs when you enable the F block non-domain policy. So uh, that's a bit of a performance a boost with this update. Then moving on to the next, um, it addresses an issue that affects disk partitions. Apparently they were stop, uh, they stopped working. And then the update addresses an issue that causes Windows to fail. So this is once again an important bug fix. And um, this was occur occurring when you use BitLocker on a storage medium that has a large sector size. So two important, one for CPU and one for Windows failing. So those are two stability and performance fixes that have rolled out. Now, um, the final two just to mention for the purpose of today's video, uh, the update addresses an issue that affects start menu icons. Apparently, they were missing after you signed in for the first time. And um, the update addresses an issue that affects settings. And for this one, we're going to head to um, our accounts page. And we're going to look for Windows Backup. And here we go. It's regarding sync. The update addresses an issue that affects settings. They do not sync even if you turn on the toggle on the Windows Backup page in the Settings app. So that's more or less what's rolled out with KB5029351, as mentioned. A couple of new features, not really front-facing, front, front facing, but nonetheless are new improvements. And once again, if you do decide to install this update, because it is optional, uh, if we head over to Winver about Windows, uh, for Windows 11 version 22H2, the OS build has been bumped up to 2261.2215, and that's more or less what's new with KB5029351 that rolled out on the 22nd of August for Windows 11 22H2. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.